Hey Christ Fellowship, Pastor Ruben here. Today I have an update for you on our plans for reopening the church for Sunday worship. As I'm sure many of you saw yesterday, Governor Abbott addressed the state and he uh, explained his intentions to see the state of Texas move forward into the phase two opening of Texas, meaning uh, some changes for restaurants, for local businesses, uh, for schools and daycares and sports programs, among other things, uh, to be able to return and to open back up and begin serving the community once again. Some capacity numbers have changed as well. Uh, they're moving from 25% to 50% capacity. And uh, they still though, however, and I wanna make sure we highlight a couple of these things, uh, are still encouraging those who are in the 65 plus age range and those who maybe have underlying health conditions to remain home uh, during this time. And if they do proceed to go out into public to make sure that they're doing so extremely cautiously um, and being smart about it. And so uh, with all that being said, there are very few of these things honestly that affect us as the church. As many of you know, the governor about a month ago now said churches could, have, could open and could continue to worship. There were some restrictions and guidelines in place in order to make sure that churches were taking all the proper precautions to be smart and safe for, for the people of the congregation and those in the staff as well. We as a church decided that we were gonna wait a little longer. Uh, we announced back, I believe it was on May 2nd or May 3rd, that we were gonna wait till today to give you the second part of our update, first wanting to hear what our governor had to say, and then also listening to the CDC and our local government, and then also finding out uh, if there was any advice from our conference office here in San Antonio. And so uh, amongst other things as well, we reached out to you as a congregation. We just had over 45 families and individuals take a survey, letting us know how you felt about coming back to church, what would make you feel more comfortable about coming to church, uh, and what, what were some things that we could do as a church to help you feel comfortable as well. And so I wanna thank you all for, for those of you that participated in doing that. It was greatly, greatly uh, beneficial. We've also spent time in conversation with other churches around our community in context, not just in the United Methodist Church, but some of our other non-denominational brothers and sisters as well, and finding out what they were doing and some of the precautions that they were taking and some of their plans and opening. And then of course, you know, making sure we were staying informed. Uh, whether that was watching the news or reading up on any updates, again, from the CDC or our local government or, or medical advisors, and uh, making sure that when we were doing this, we were doing it the best way that we can. We've been saying that when we come back, we want to come back right. And we understand and realize now, uh, you know, originally our hope was that we can come back with 100% of you all. Uh, we now know that that may not be very realistic right now. And honestly, we don't know when that will be. And, and, and we're gonna come from the stance though, even after saying that, that maybe it's not for us to know because we still believe God is gonna see us through this time. And whether that's in the next three months, six months or, or year, and God willing sooner than later, I think we can all agree we want this to be sooner than later. Um, but until that day comes, we also understand that we have a mission and we have a call here at the church. And uh, even in the midst of all this stuff that's going on, we're gonna continue to seek being the church during this time and continue moving forward and making sure that we're offering as many options as possible in alignment with the guidelines and restrictions that are in place and then also offering options for those who maybe aren't ready to come out and be in public just yet especially those in our high risk categories and so please know please know through the last several weeks myself my staff and your board leadership uh, have been in constant discussion uh, we have a plan in place We've been taking the proper precautions here at church. We have had the church closed down, I would say about 95% of the time, only coming in to clean the facilities and or uh, to move some things around, but that's about it. We've avoided having meetings here on campus. Uh, so I, I would say that our campus is in great shape right now and, and in large part to our amazing and awesome staff for making sure that it was maintained and kept that way. And so we will continue to do that. We're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop maintaining. We're not gonna stop making sure that this place is safe and comfortable people to come into this place we're going to continue doing that work and uh, we're excited we're excited for what's to come so with all that being said the big announcement uh, that maybe all of you are waiting for now you're saying okay pastor we've heard you now tell us tell us what the big announcement is the big announcement is this we are planning on reopening for sunday worship on may 31st that's right may 31st 2020 in two weeks from now we're going to be reopening christ fellowship for worship on sunday mornings now there's going to be a lot of restrictions in place 
There's going to be a lot of things here at the church building that you're going to have to get familiar with as far as things in areas that are closed off. Uh, how we sit in the worship space during worship, how we enter the building, how we exit the building, and what you need to be wearing uh, when you enter the building, especially masks. Um, and then also making sure that you're aware of designated areas that we are going to have for families or for those who will be attending the worship space. And then also some of our alternative worship spaces like for those in our 65 plus, plus uh, age range. And so what you're going to see here on the bottom of this in the comment section, you will see a picture. And in that picture, you're going to see a four-phase reopening plan. Now, I'm only going to be uh, sharing a portion of that, half of it, uh, here on Facebook. If you want to see the detailed outline of what we're doing as a church for the facilities, for worship, for you all as attendees and our volunteers, I encourage you to check out our newsletter that is also going to be out today. You can find that here on the Facebook uh, page or you can uh, get the email. If you have not got our newsletter, FYI, and you want to, please visit our website at CFUMC sa.org if you scroll all the way down to the bottom right corner you'll see sign up for newsletter if you fill that up um, if you fill that out you'll be added and and part of the newsletter distribution and so i want to encourage you to do that to make sure that you're staying as informed as you possibly can so we can stay in touch and connected with you too and so the plan is next week uh, we're going to be starting a rsvp setup that's right. So this is this is something I want to mention now so we can all be prepared for it. Uh, it's going to be different. I have never in my lifetime asked for people to sign up to come to church. <laughs> and this is going to go It's everything I know I believe in in church. Uh, it's, you know, you all know me. I love telling you to invite your friends. The church is open. The doors are open. We never want to turn anybody away, regardless of who they are, or where they've come from or what their background is. But for the sake of just being safe and for this period in time, whether it's for the next two weeks, for the next two months or six months, um, and we're going we're gonna to kind of reassess that as time goes, but we're going to be setting up an RSVP setup using Sign Up Genius. And so next week, that is going to go live. And uh, if, you ple if you read the, the phased reopening plan, you'll see some of those restrictions in there. You'll see the, the maximum number we're going to be allowing any worship service. And by the way, we're going to be doing two worship services at 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. to help spread out the congregation. Uh, and I can go ahead and tell you that the max size for these worship services coming back is going to be 50. We're also going to have an alternative online, on-campus worship going on in the back house for our 65 plus category individuals. Uh, we're, we're also gonna have a designated parking area for them uh, for the time being. And the whole goal is that we ease ourselves back into this until we can all come back together. But again, it's about options. We're creating options for everybody. And so again, the maximum size we're gonna allow in worship is 50. And so when you go to RSVP, make sure you let us know how many people are coming with you. And if you do it on the sign of genius, It'll ask you for the quantity. And so make sure you put in there how many people are coming with you. Leave in the comments if you have any questions for us. And when you register, when you RSVP, you will be receiving an email. And in that email is going to be a YouTube link. And we're going to encourage you to, to watch that video in its entirety. It's going to walk you through how you're supposed to come to church during this season. The do's and don'ts, that's a how-to infomercial. Me and Ellie Zett, your awesome worship leader, will be doing that. And so expect that to go live, the RSVP and the video for the first time next Tuesday. And so make sure you keep an eye out for that. If, if the 9.30 a.m. service fills up, you can move on to 11 a.m. service. If both services fill up, uh, again, you can still watch online from home. I do want to be very clear about this as well. Online worship is still our priority. All right, online worship is still gonna be our number one option during this time because we know that there are still people out there who maybe are not just ready and we want to honor and respect your feelings uh, and your comfortability levels. Again, you do, I don't, we don't want you to feel forced like you have to come back to church when you're ready, but know that there are gonna be plenty of options now. Um, and we're gonna continue to make sure that we offer solid and strong online worship for you all. And another cool thing about our online worship is we're gonna be implementing children's church 
online live worship as well. If you haven't checked it out, there is a CF Kids Facebook page now that you can go follow, you can go like. There will be updates about BBS and there will also be updates about any Zoom meetings that they have, Bible studies, and of course the live stream children's church service that will also be launching on May 31st. So that's super exciting. So. So parents, while you're watching main, uh, the main worship service, you can have your children also watching the Children's Church live worship going on simultaneously for both services at 9.30 and 11. And so that's pretty exciting. And then of course, let me, let me backtrack a little bit here. The, the alternative worship space for 65 plus age range individuals will also be running simultaneously. We're gonna have two of those. We're gonna have one at 9.30, one at 11. However, the max size for those services is 25. And so in the back house, we're gonna make sure we're gonna have everything spread out. Uh, we'll have the live streaming service streaming on a TV back there. Um, and we're gonna make sure that it's really nice and ready to go. And so it's gonna be really important that everybody follows the signage when they do come back. And so again, I won't get too much into that today because next week you'll see that video. We will make it available to everybody. But more importantly, when you RSVP to come to church, you will get that link. And we wanna encourage you to please uh, tune into that and follow it. And so. We are very excited. <laughs> We're very excited to come back to church with you all at the same time. Uh, we also want to be very cautious. We want to be smart. And again, we want to do this right. And so again, we know that for many of you, maybe you're not in the place where you're ready to come. And again, that's okay. We're still going to cater to you. We're still going to serve you in the best way that we can, again, through our online services. And we're going to try to stay connected to you as best as we can, um, even during this time. At the end of the day, we are extremely hopeful. We're hopeful that God will see us through this season. We're hopeful that we will continue to grow through this season. I wanna thank you to everybody who has contributed to the life of Christ Fellowship, even in the midst of all of this that is going on. Uh, we're very blessed to say that we are in a very healthy place and that God has been very good to us. And uh, we're just excited again to continue doing this work, to continue to be the church. Uh, we have church shirts. If you're interested and you want a church shirt, please let us know. You can email us at info at cf umcsa.org leave us your name your phone number and how many shirts you would like we have sizes from extra small to 3x and they're 15 dollars a shirt so make sure you let us know that you want a shirt also vbs will be having shirts too uh, registration is live for that as well if you haven't had a chance to check it out you can go to our website at cfumcsa.org and you'll see the facebook uh, the vbs registration in the top right corner also for volunteers it's a ten dollar registration fee and that is for a vbs shirt for the kids and so as of right now especially because of what the governor said yesterday programs are allowed to resume and so vbs i can say with 100 i'll say 99 percent certainty <laughs> that it is on and so August 4th through 7th, and so we're super excited. Christina and our children's staff, they're making preparations and they're getting ready uh, to get that going here in a few months. And so with that church, again, May 31st, we're reopening. Please take a look at the four phase reopening plan. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at ruben at cfumcsa.org. I would love to answer any questions that you have or any concerns that you have. Um, and I hopefully we'll get to see you all soon. So with that church, I pray that you have a blessed rest of your day. Keep an eye out for the newsletter and we'll see you soon. Peace and God bless.